Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on for a video of this HP Pavilion G6. This is not the original Pavilion G6, this is the second one. Uh, if you remember, I had one that was given to me with an i3 processor of some description or another. That system died, so I then ended up getting this one, um, which actually has an AMD APU in it. I forget exactly which APU it is. We'll find out when we power it up. But uh, this is the hard drive out of the original machine, and it is no good. Uh, it is completely dead. Uh, it does not work at all. So we're going to replace it with an SSD. And I'm going to replace my screwdriver tip with a Phillips tip, because I'm going to need that. I do have a backup of the old machine. I could choose to just reload that backup. But I'm going to reinstall from scratch first, just to see if that's going to work, which I hope it will. And, uh, we'll see where we go from there. Be able to just pry this little skin off. Because that's all it is, it's just a little rubber skin. And then this can be discarded in an out of the way location. 40, which is right here, because that's all I should need. I don't know if there's a specific way that this skin is supposed to go into place or not. I don't think so. Now comes the fun part, putting these screws in. Okay, so we've got it in place now. It's not going to protect it completely because obviously this is meant for hard drive, which is much thicker than an SSD. Okay, tight fit, I guess. I don't know what that's all about. Now I should be able to install this without any worry. Of course, you got to install it correctly. All right, that should now be in place. I power it on. Of course, you're not going to hear anything. And obviously the battery is no good. I'm going to have to flash the BIOS, apparently. I guess. And then something happened. I don't know what. What I'm going to do... I'm going to plug in my Windows 10 USB stick. Hopefully, that did not feel very encouraging. I think the key is F10. Actually, that's for the BIOS. Oops. But I guess now you can see what APU it has. <laughs> uh, so if we go ahead and take a look here. It's an A6 3400M, 6 gigs of RAM. I don't know what it's complaining about. Probably because all the data is not set. So if we take a look here, it should actually run a primary hard disk self-test now, and it does. Virtualization should be on. I don't know why that's off. And I hate it when that's set up like that. So we'll go in and we'll change our boot order. Should be USB, then hard drive. I'm going to put the CD-ROM above that, too. And then we should be good to go. Exit saving changes. And hopefully, after we bypass all these stupid messages,
boot to the USB. And the real reason why I'm doing this, because it's not really that interesting, I mean, you've seen a Windows 10 installation a billion times by now, is because I want to see how long it takes on this hardware. Which isn't necessarily new, but it's within the target range of hardware that Windows 10 would originally be meant for. You know, they try to market it at the Windows 7 folks. Windows 7 and the Windows 8.1 folks. And this is a Windows 7 machine. So, this should work. And should work fairly well. And it should be fairly quick because it's an SSD. Even though it's a cheap SSD. Of course, it is going to ask me for a product key. Which I'm going to have to answer. And pause the video when I do. That should be the next thing that it does. I obviously read that very carefully. I'm going to do a custom install. I'm going to dump this. I don't know what it is. Install to the unallocated space. I'm just going to hit next. There we go. Off to the races. How about a little bit of shut up? Anyway, this ran out of tape about maybe five minutes ago. It was five, uh, roughly 5.31 when it ran out of videotape. So now we're here and with this camera now because 
well, obviously this is out of tape, so I have to use this. So I'm going to take this off the tripod, put this on the tripod, and we'll keep going. Okay, let's start with region. It's not even close. Well, okay, actually I guess it, it kind of is, but it's also not. I guess it just defaults to that every time, I don't know why. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes. Do I want to add a new one? No. Because what will then happen, if I do add another one, what it will do is it will keep switching between the two when you least expect it. Okay, so I'm going to connect it to my network. Okay, connect it. Now, next. We have some important setup to do. This is the part where it sits there and wastes your time. Alright, sign in with Microsoft. Well, I'm going to actually do that on this because my intention for this machine is to run the Insider Preview builds on it. Well, that's funny because it's the one that I just straight up used, so that's hilarious. Good job, Microsoft. Okay, I'm going to have to figure that out later then, I guess. That's ridiculous. No. 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 Do I want that? No. Do I want this? No. Do I want that? No. Don't want that either. I'm going to be modified. Actually, I don't think I can modify that if I want the insider preview builds. So we'll just leave that alone, I guess. No, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. This is crazy. How Windows setup has just become so... Actually, it's more like Windows. It's not the setup. Windows has just gotten ridiculous lately. It's my computer, and I do not appreciate it being used as a vehicle to promote somebody else's agenda. I'll come back when it's actually decided to get its head in gear. Okay, well, as you could tell from the very dark and dingy theme that we've got going on here, obviously we've got some upgrading to do. So the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to come in here to the settings thing, updates and security. I'm actually going to check the activation, which is activated, so that's cool. And the insider program is the next thing that I'm going to enable. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Huh. Wow. That's crazy. That's craziness. That's craziness. I'm almost tempted not to even bother now, because that's, that should be illegal. I don't care what it's missing. I'm going to do what I want first. It's my computer, doggone it. Okay, after entering in at 400 billion different things, let's see. I want active development of Windows. And I'm going to go for the fast ring, just because, why not? This is a test machine anyway, so... Now we'll reboot it. Which it wanted me to reboot anyway, because it was installing some drivers. Okay, this is nice. It's gone ahead and popped up. Some video quality features are off. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. So I'm just going to close this. 
Now, now we begin the incredulously fun process. Dealing with updates. I want to make sure that the insider program thing is actually set up properly. Which it looks like it is. So, this is not happening. Absolutely not. Because it kills your network. Okay, so it's finally now to the point where it's installing the new build. Which is probably going to take a long time. At least that's my guess. Even though it's an SSD, this whole process is taking a lot longer than I really feel it should. But I guess that's okay. Okay, like I predicted, it took about 3 million years in order for this to get to this point, but we are now running the latest Insider Preview build, at least I assume it's the latest anyway. That's whatever one it's decided to install. So, alright. Next step, I guess, is to configure Classic Shell. I did go ahead and install the programs already. Check for other updates. And I am going to have to install, uh, oh, what's it called, the backup program, Macrium Reflect, on this, and run a new backup. Oh, look, another release. <laughs> wow. Get out of the way. I don't know if that's the newest release or what that is. Uh, what is it called? 20H2 or something? I think is the one that's out now. Came out a couple of weeks ago. At least as of the making of this video. I'm sure that by the time I upload it, it's going to be like 2022 or something. <laughs> because I'm so behind on my video editing. So I guess we'll let it do that, and then I'll come back when that's done. Oh, for crying out loud, you've already taken at least four hours now. It should have been done four hours ago. Really, really, really do not understand why it feels the need to take this long. Service packs don't take this long to install. And that's basically all it's doing, is it's installing a service pack. Just straight up ridiculous. Like, it really is. Okay, finally, no more updates. Now, the one thing I do want to make sure is that delivery optimization did not get turned back on, and it didn't. So that's good. So now everything should be fully up to date and I should no longer need to do anything with this system, and that, like almost five hours later, is going to end this video. So, thank you for watching. That's how long a Windows 10 installation takes. Welcome to the future. Very bleak, if you ask me.